Well, it's one hot, hot day in Minnesota on July 2nd, the year 2020. As an airplane finishes flying by, well, this is this is just placing, of course. Uh, I uh, got this deck and caster frame, uh, 52 inch deck from this Toro 117 Groundsmaster I bought uh, nine days ago, pretty cheaply. I just sold the engine today, and what my uh, mission is is this here is going to be my wing mower well i of course I'm, it's just placed there it's not done i gotta attach the casters to the rear uh, i gotta put an engine on it i don't know if the gearbox is good so if they're if the gearbox is bad i'll take it off and figure it out from there but uh here's my Toro 522XI garden tractor. I have my uh, custom front bumper on. I put on. I built that last year. And the rear rack, the rear, the rear hitch. I built that rear hitch uh, two years ago, and then the the perforated steel tube I added a few days ago. And I got my extra fuel tanks on the back. Those I think those tanks are like two or three gallons each. And I get about five hours of mowing to mow here at this place. And so I think the main tank on the tractor is four gallons. So when the main tank runs out of gas, I just turn on the valves and open up one tank and start the tractor up and and the it it will slowly uh, if I leave the valve open for the main tank on the tractor it'll backfill into the main tank but it won't overfill but uh, so this is what I'm working on sorry I kind of got off track there this is what I'm working on you know there will be some places I'll have to detach because there's a fair amount of trees to mow around here on the property but there's other places where I could leave it on and uh, it's a fit this is a 52 inch deck that deck there's a 52 inch deck so uh, they're not exactly the same deck the commercial 52 inch decks have a 5 8 inch center hole for the blades and the Toro Garden Tractor 52 inch decks will have a half inch center hole. So, anyway, I built uh, something a bit smaller than this in 1994 uh, with a Wheel Horse 252H, and then I had a Bolens, I think it was a 32 inch deck, and I had casters from Northern, Northern Hydraulics. I had an I had an engine on the wing mower. I just put too big of a, too big of a drive pulley on the engine on the wing mower. I mowed with it twice. I never got pictures of it, and that's before we had phones with uh, you know personal portable smartphones with uh, video recorders on them. But I took that one apart. But oh boy, you know I could with this thing once it's up and running. I could, uh, oh, I could probably cut my mowing time down by, oh, it's got to be at least, by at least 25%, maybe 30, 40%. I won't cut my mowing time in half because of all the trees to mow, but this would be nice for getting under low-hanging branches. There's trees down along the driveway that have some low hanging branches that are a pain an absolute pain to duck under but uh, anyway uh, I'll post uh, more videos once I get this thing running but I got plenty I, I have engines sitting around uh, I bought some uh, 
I bought a one and a half inch Hillman perforated steel that will be used used to connect to connect um, these rear casters to the, uh, the frame. Sorry, the sun, the shadow, and the sunlight are kind of fighting with each other on my phone. But anyway, well, I'm just. I think I'm almost done draining the gas out of my Toro 117 Groundsmaster mower. I sold the engine uh, about an hour ago. The tank was about two-thirds full, and I thought, you know, the bottom of the tank was lower than the top of that gas can, and I just used it, my jack under the back of the mower to raise it up. I think it's almost... Looks like it's almost done draining. All right, well, uh, watch for future videos as I uh, post updates on this wing mower. I'll, uh, I, uh, this is a fun project. I've wanted to build one of these for several years. All right, thanks for watching. See my other videos. Like, subscribe, and stay safe. See ya. Bye.